this will answer the question of all the people that ask, are you allowed to celebrate Thanksgiving? It's coming up, and people are asking this question. Now, Moshe Feinstein, Allah Shalom, was asked, can you celebrate Thanksgiving? So he said, what's Thanksgiving? That's a Ish Kadosh. That's a Ish Kadosh. Ish Kadosh doesn't know what Thanksgiving is. What's Thanksgiving? Oh, they have turkey. So it's okay. You want to have turkey? Have turkey. There's no problem having turkey. What is Abu Dazra? No. It has nothing to do with Abu Dazra. Want to have turkey? Have turkey. But that's not the question we're asking. We're not asking, are we allowed to have turkey? Because you have turkey every day of the week. No problem. Enjoy your turkey. Enjoy turkey every day. No problem. You want to boil it. You want to cook it. You want whatever you want. You want to have a sandwich with turkey. What's, that's not the question you're asking. You're not asking that. What's the question people are really asking? Can we invite our non-Jewish friends and family to our house? Or can we go to their house and celebrate Thanksgiving? The Gemara in Masechet Abu Dazara says no. It says no. Not allowed. Doesn't matter whether it's Thanksgiving or it's a regular meal. Not allowed. Why? There's an issue of having these type of meals because chas v'shalom you get so comfortable that you marry their daughters or their sons. You're not supposed to have meals together. So can you have turkey? Enjoy two turkeys. Enjoy the turkey. Can you have the interfaith peace? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's not my rule. It's Gemara. It's Torah. So that's the real question people are asking. And that question is answered already by the Gemara. The question they asked Rav Moshe Feinstein was a very different question. They asked him if you're allowed to eat turkey on this day. Eat two turkeys. You don't need to ask Rav Moshe Feinstein for that. And that's the problem with sometimes people ask questions. And they ask questions based on the way they want an answer. So I think I told you guys this last week, but it's worth saying it again. Someone goes to a rabbi and says, Rabbi, can I um, smoke in a synagogue? Rabbi says, you crazy? Rabbi, it's Kodesh Kodeshim. Shem What are you talking about? Tefillin. Smoke in the synagogue. This is what we're done. No, no, I'm sorry, Kodesh I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He runs away. He told his friend, look, the rabbi yelled at me. He said, I can't smoke in the synagogue. I thought maybe a little drag, something. I don't know, it's kind of hard. I, He's like, listen, you don't know how to ask a question. Watch. The other guy, tough guy, goes to the, goes to the rabbi. Kvodalav, let me ask you a question. When I'm smoking a cigarette, can I pray at the same time to Hashem? The rabbi says, wow, ishtabach shima, what a tzaddik. Look at this guy, what a tzaddik he is. Even when he's smoking a cigarette, which is really not allowed, he's still thinking about Hashem and doing tshuva and praying to him. Look what a tzaddik, everyone. Sometimes people ask a question, not because they want the, que- the answer to the question. They already have a certain answer in mind they want, and they need somebody to sign off on it. They need somebody to sign off on their shtuyot and their nonsense. So your question is, are you allowed to have turkey? Enjoy two turkeys, three turkeys, five turkeys, with the stuffing, without the stuffing, whatever you want. Are you allowed to celebrate with your non-Jewish friends? No. Are you allowed to go to the Christmas party? No. Even if they serve you kosher food. Not allowed. Not allowed. Why? It's against the Torah. And there's a list of problems. We can do a whole shoe about it.